Hey, I'm Sam Clark with Crimson Education, and we're here at the University of Pennsylvania, or UPenn, aka the first university in the United States. And I'm here to talk to you about the top five greatest traditions at UPenn. I'm standing here at the Button, which was built in 1981, weighs 5,000 pounds and is 16 feet in diameter. And here's where I'm gonna tell you about the first tradition, which is called Hay Day, which started in 1916 and signified the uh, passage of juniors becoming seniors here at UPenn. And what it's become, especially in recent years, has been essentially a huge parade of all the juniors who are about to become seniors, dressing in red shirts, walking with canes, and wearing these like kind of styrofoam, old-timey top hats that they take bites out of. It's a big party, it's a parade throughout campus, and actually the last time we were here filming a Day in the Life video, we accidentally uh, stumbled upon it. We're suddenly surrounded by thousands of juniors about to become seniors, um, and it really was a big party. A little overwhelming, very exciting, and very, very uniquely penned. Next tradition. For next tradition, I'm standing here in front of Benjamin Franklin. There's a couple different Benjamin Franklin statues on campus here at Penn, one of which is him sitting on a bench where I think students have on occasion done nefarious things to him. I don't think they do that to this Ben Franklin because he's too tall and too central. Um, but the next tradition we're talking about is the House Cup. While Penn is, of course, a sports powerhouse, especially in the Ivy League, the House Cup is all about intramural sports, uh, smaller sports competitions for all of the houses at Penn. The House Cup is a series of competitions ranging from intramural sports to a quiz bowl that kicks it all off, but it runs throughout the entire year, and at the end of every spring, one single house at Penn is awarded the coveted House Cup, which they keep until the following year. I don't know if you ever won it. I don't think so. Now I'm in front of College Hall in the middle of campus to talk to you about the next tradition, which is the rivalry with Princeton. The rivalry between the Penn Quakers and the Princeton Tigers goes way back, starting around 1876 with their football ball rivalry, but that's spilled out into a ton of different sports, most notably basketball. The, the Penn-Princeton rivalry is so central to traditions here on campus that there is a scoreboard, a permanent scoreboard on campus just dedicated to showing their historic streak against each other. Now who's winning this famous rivalry probably depends on who you ask. Penn is winning on the basketball side, Princeton is winning on the football side. Sound off in the comments, who do you think's winning? Hey, I'm now in front of the Fine Arts Library to tell you about the fourth tradition here at Penn, probably the most popular, which of course is Spring Fling. Penn's Spring Fling, which was started in the year 1972, is now the largest student-run music festival on the East Coast and has had past performers such as Ludacris, Snoop Dogg, Tiesto, Lupe Fiasco, Chance the Rapper, and most recently Flo Millie, The Cheat Codes, and Lil Yachty. You're bound to like one of those acts. They always get some of the biggest names in music and and it's one of the most fun weekends of the year. Now I'm here at the other Ben Franklin statue, which I'm not sitting on because I have heard from Penn students that this might be the P statue. But I'll just hang out here with Benjamin Franklin. And here's where we're talking about the final tradition, which is simply called toast. Toast is a frankly super weird and I think super fantastic tradition wherein at the end of the third quarter of every home football game here, Fans and students throw thousands of pieces of toast onto the field. Now why on earth do they do this? In the Penn fight song, Drink a Highball, there's a lyric that says, here's a toast to dear old Penn. And in the 70s, at that stadium, they banned the sale of alcohol, and students decided to start uh, just throwing toast in honor of that single lyric in the line. And apparently during a peak football game at the height of this season, anywhere from 20 to 30,000 pieces of toast will be thrown onto the field in a single game. And that's toast. If you like this video and you wanna learn more about top colleges and universities all around the world, please like this video and subscribe to Crimson Education. And if you wanna take the first step to getting into the school of your dreams, click one of the links below to sign up for a free consultation with one of Crimson's academic advisors who can talk to you for free about how to get into the school of your dreams and how Crimson can help. I'm Sam Clark with Crimson Education. This is Benjamin Franklin, and we'll see you next time.